from the city of brotherly love at Citizens Bank Park. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Philadelphia Phillies. So just about set now, and now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Three. Got him looking, and one out now. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Good contact guy, good defender. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Makes the grab, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a speed threat, Tyler O'Neill. And the 3-1. There's a strike. No score, just getting started. Top of the first. And down on strikes. And that's the third out. Bottom of the first. And now here's the veteran DH, Kyle Schwarber. pitches downstairs left hand batter waits that one fouled off the wide to kick the pitch stays alive the 2-2 two -two now and there's a foul ball the pitch and a foul ball, he stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. And there's a ball. And he deals. Ripped on the ground a second. Over to Goldie. Schwarber out of the play. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at-bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Now, Nolan Arenado. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. This is Dylan Carlson. Next offering is fouled back. And here it comes. And a foul ball. No score here in the second. Stays alive. Got some cut action to it. Velocity pretty good on that slider. So far moving the ball around nicely. Next pitch misses. And it's a full count. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Here's Corey Dickerson. 
the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. And stepping up to the dish is Yadier Molina. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs. Hit in the air, right field. Harper under it. He makes the grab, and that is that. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the second. And here's the catcher, JT Real Muto. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Gene Segur at the plate here. Kicks and fires. Real Muto runs. Next offering is foul back. 2-2 Two -two now. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. Didi Gregorius steps to the plate. Real Muto runs. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Out there. And the inning is over. Back here in Philadelphia. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul DeYoung. Two and two. Got him swinging. One down. And now Bader up to the plate. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one pulled foul. Top of the third. No score. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Next offering is down low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Payoff pitch. In the air, left field. Castellanos in position and puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Next to hit, Tommy Edmond. Went down on strikes his first time through. The wind of the pitch. That one missed. 2-1 two one. Two one now. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. 2-2 two two now. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Harper under it. And he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Set for the bottom of the third. And digging in for Philadelphia, Didi Gregorius. And the pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. 3-2 now. And he walked him. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Matt Veerling 
Stands in for the Phillies. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Squirts away a little bit. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. This is Bryson Stock. The 3 1 in for a strike, full count. Ground ball right side. Edmund collects, gathers, and throws to first. He's out. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Left-hand hitter waits. So now two on and two outs. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Next pitch has popped up. Edmund under it. And brings it in at the wall. And welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Righty delivers. There's the swing and a miss. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. He's got it. And there's one away. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And two away now. Here's Nolan Arenado. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. The 2-2. Two -two. Popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Line, and that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. One run in. Here comes another. Gregorius with a relay home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And they take a two-run lead. Well, he had the opportunity to drive in some runs, and he comes through to break the tie. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now Molina at the plate. That one the other way. Segura tosses the first, and Molina is retired. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Ready to go, bottom four. And now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. On the ground right side. Edmund slings the first. One up, one down. 
Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here comes a pitch. And now one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And he chases that one. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Reese Hoskins now at the plate. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Oh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the, the punch out there. That's his second strikeout. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Next nope. offering misses. Two balls and a strike. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Throws to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Harrison Bader, next up for the Cardinals. Next offering is fouled back. Out to short, Gregorius over to pick it up. To first, and he beats it. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Wheeler with a throw over. Bader dives back. Bader leads off first with one away. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Man at first. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next offering is down low, and the count is three and one. Swing and a pop-up. Gregorius settles underneath it. And that's the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Gene Segura. The 1-1. One -one. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. On to first, Segura out in the play. Didi Gregorius at the play. The next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And the right-hander deals. They say it went. And now two and two. Fly ball down the line. O'Neill drifts towards it. Two down. Two outs. Space is empty. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Matt Veerling. And a 1 1. Good eye in that spot. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Right hander kicks deals. That misses the zone. Now three and one. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. A little bloop single. And that extends the inning. 
Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And a pinch. He swings and fouls one off. pitch swings and misses that's the inning welcome back all right we go to the top half of inning number six now up for st louis tyler o'neill one one now foul ball there Next offering upstairs. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Close one. Doesn't get the call. Three and two now. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Nolan Arenado. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Dylan Carlson. Ball to strike. Fought off foul. And a ball and two strikes. That's down and in. That one misses. And the count's full. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next offering is fouled back. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Pitch stays alive. Carlson off of first with two away. Swing and a ball popped up. Segura settles underneath it and makes the grab. And that is that. Well, we go bottom six, and now Kyle Schwarber. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Around first, digging for two. O'Neal throws to second, but he's in there easily. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity, and at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Digging in, Nick Castellanos sends it to first, and Castellanos is out. Bryce Harper to the plate. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. This one lifted in the air, left field. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. That's out number two. JT Real Muto stands in for the Phillies. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And a pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. 
at the belt and fires. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. The run scores from third, and it's a one-run game. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Stepping in, Gene Segura. Hit slowly on the ground. Arenado to first, in time. Segura out in the play. They limit the damage here. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Nick Nelson. And his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. We go to the top of the seventh, and the batter now, Yadier Molina. The one-two. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And now here is Paul DeYoung. This one in the air right field. Makes the grab on the run. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Harrison Bader next up for the Cardinals. The 1-1. One, one. And fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's a 1-2. That one just misses. 2-2 two -two now. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Right through there. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, T.J. McFarland. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Bottom of the seventh. Here's Didi now. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate. Try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And he reluctantly takes his walk. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerlin. Playoff man is on. you got to be looking for the bunt here. Trying to get him into scoring position. So now one and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Runner at first with no outs here. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Liner caught it second. Here's the third baseman, Bryson Stock. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Next offering is downstairs. One run game, one out, one on. Next one misses, ball three. Swing and a miss as he was out front. And here's a 3-2. Fouled off again, and it remains 3-2. and two. One down, Phillies down the run. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two down. 
a new arm into the game, the righty, Nick Wickgren. Now the designated hitter, Kyle Warburg. So the lineup flips over. And yeah, the batter now, Kyle Schwarber. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Here's a 1-1. Gregorius leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and a miss, and that is that. here at the ballpark we're at the top of the eighth and here's the st louis leadoff man tommy edmund the why to kick the pitch on the ground is short and they get edmund for the out and up next for st louis paul goldschmidt the first baseman paul goldschmidt right-handed reliever two the pitch popped in the air left field Castellanos moving under this one and there's two away Tyler O'Neill will hit next Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Chop back up the middle. Bare hand grab, the throw, and he gets him. Nicely done. Back at Citizens Bank Park, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two kicks and deals stays alive and a one two again line drive that's a base hit and that gets all the way to the wall Bader quickly throws it in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's Bryce Harper. Next pitch has popped up. DeYoung brings it in, one away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Castellanos, the runner at second with one away. And a pop-off right side, foul territory. And Real Muto is out. And there's two away. New arm on the mound for the Cardinals, Ryan Helsley. A runner on second to deal with. He'll do his best to keep him there. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. So now one and two to Reese. Oh, and now a wild pitch. And an excellent job keeping it right there. So the tying run at second. Inside three and two to count. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Runner leads away at second. Two outs. And one in scoring position. And a swing and a miss. Inning over. Back 
here in Philadelphia. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now up the Cardinals number four hitter, Nolan Arenado. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk, Boog. Here's Dickerson now. The one, two. Left field. Castellanos on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Now the catcher up to hit. Yadier Molina. The 1-1. One, one. Now a fly ball to right center. Harper makes the catch, and that'll do it. And now they turn to Giovanni Gallegos. Now pitching for the Cardinals. Number 65. Last chance for the home team. And digging in for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. The tying run at the plate. And that just misses. That's a really good take. 2-2 Two -two down. Got him! One out, bottom of the ninth. D.D. Gregorius, the next to hit. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie-in run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. Left-hand batter waits. And now two and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Next pitch misses. Full count now. And here it comes. That's hard hit on the line. Hits the fence. Carlson to second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Bottom of the night, down a run and tying run on second base. That's out number two. Now the third baseman, Bryson Stock. Well, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Next pitch is outside. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. So now with one swing, this guy could end it. Upstairs. And a 3-2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The kick, the 3-2. 
High fly ball out into left center field. O'Neill settles under it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun one to watch. Final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, two runs on three hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For Philadelphia, one run, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. The winning pitcher is Adam Wainwright. The loss goes to Zach Wheeler. Time of the ball game, two hours and 36 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.